Like all of you, I'm always happy to wind up and sink the slipper into the posterior of any sitting government when I think they deserve it. However, both in Australia and across the globe, one of the biggest burning issues is the lack of housing supply. Governments are somewhat responsible, but it's not totally on them. Who's behind it is the discussion point for this week's newsletter. Tell me if you think this is fair. Is it fair that land is withheld so that you have to take on the largest debt burden in a generation to buy a house only for a few years later for those same developers to then flood the market at the most inopportune time and ruin the value of your long-term investment? Click in the description link below where you'll find the link to that newsletter. I've discussed this topic in depth. And while you're there, why don't you hit the like and subscribe button so you'll always catch these weekly newsletters when they come out. And of course, any comments or thoughts, put them down below because I always look forward to reading those. The subject of land banking has once again in the current cycle reared its ugly head. But the consequences on both sides are severe. And so it's in your best interest to understand what you're up against, why the cycle dictates that this sort of behavior is just par for the course and it won't get any better, regardless of what the government has already done to prompt more new housing. It's quite astonishing really, but I'm sure once you read it, you'll become quite familiar with their tactics and I give you some ideas on how to navigate it safely. That's all I've got for you this week, guys. It's great to be back. I hope to see you all next week. See ya.